When commenting on sensitive issues that influence and later affect our lives, most people would inherently believe that they are right. However, this is not often the case, and many of us aren't able to admit this, which is quite unfortunate. We all see our world from a point of view. Our point of view is limited and doesn't allow observation from an angle that truly represents our ever-changing, multifaceted, and complicated world. Welcome to Four Seas One Family. It is challenging to formulate and then express a worldview that can be confirmed and accepted by an audience with very different beliefs, preferences, and backgrounds. Most of us attempt to place examples of our worldview in front of us and present them as illustrations of how our particular interpretations fit the narratives of what we want to express, represent, and in the end, prove. We often forget that confrontations are unavoidable and periodically manifest in debates and actions that sometimes cause harm. When our descriptions of events occurring in the world become faced with the slightest opposition, we often tend to defend it and regard any opposition as an attack on our personal beliefs and dignity. Unfortunately, it is almost impossible to immediately update or adjust a particular view and incorporate an opposing opinion or statement that supersedes a belief we may have developed over time. In this situation, critical thinking becomes an exercise that strengthens our thought patterns and makes us less susceptible to cognitive dissidence, which causes us to biasly hold our personal opinions above others regardless of any possibilities, logical explanations, or even proof. When people of high conviction confront and are committed to opposing other worldviews, they often dismiss presented explanations and evidence rather than consider a conflicting opinion. Giving opposing views that are equal or superior, even a platform, could disappoint or derail the value system of those who regard their analysis of events in the world as being indisputable making them think that they have wasted their time. Situations like these and others are good reasons to remain at least a bit skeptical of our personal beliefs because they are not infallible, at least not all of the time. Most of us base our thoughts and opinions on information available at the time we begin formulating our views. And this is a critical point we always have to keep in mind. A skeptical belief system may be a better way to compare our personal beliefs against others while simultaneously testing our beliefs' validity. Now, what made sense during the formulation of a belief at a particular time in the past may not make sense in the future when environmental and social changes take place that cause information to be updated or changed beyond recognition, which may cause opinions and beliefs to become obsolete or completely irrelevant. Also, what makes sense and is moral to people who live under different rules, regulations, and religion, better known as the triple R's, may not make sense to those who live in other locations and environments or conditions. In many situations, it may be a good idea to keep an open mind, but keeping your mind too widely open could prevent you from fending off perspectives created in the shadows of someone else's fantasies. Our beliefs must be periodically questioned and compared to ensure that our ways of thinking are updated and aligned with current events. However, this doesn't mean that we should be stylishly handcrafting our information or thought to fit or confirm a popular or trending belief. In other words, we must not become utterly senseless or gullible. How we believe is a lot more important than what we believe because how we implement our beliefs define who we really are. It is hard to believe that so many well-traveled and intelligent people have countless opinions concerning familiar everyday topics. 
Could it be that our thinking process forms as a result of our conformity to building relationships to maintain a social position in our culture, which in many ways causes us to have a disposition towards any opposing view instead of evidence? Primarily because of the advancements in science and the literal fortification of social media, belief systems and conspiracy theories have grown exponentially to the point of becoming uncontrollable. It is now easy to observe how any theory can be and sometimes skillfully interpreted to explain any event happening in the world. Much of the information we come across was curated to appease those who have selected social political views that may be decisive or completely wrong. We all have to learn skills to assist us in filtering out information from sources that consistently complement the views and opinions of institutions and charismatic individuals who express exclusive views and attitudes towards other ways of thinking. Upon receiving new information, we must first ask ourselves, does this information come from an inclusive, credible, and reliable source that isn't afraid to admit that they were wrong in the past? Also, is this information comparable with the experience other people around us have? And if not, there's probably a good reason to be skeptical because it's perhaps masquerading for a yet to be determined hidden motive or just simply wrong. If a worldview or theory makes predictions that appear to disagree with events we observe happening in the world, we should question it and above all, never blindly accredit anything based on faith or charismatic individuals. If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.